Hello, my name is Latonda Jones and I'm the Collaboration and Outreach Director for Reston Community Center. I've been working for Reston Community Center for the last three years. For more information about our programs and classes, visit our website at www.restoncommunitycenter.com. Today, I'll be showing you two easy ways on how to wrap gifts for the holidays. First, I'll have a traditional way of wrapping a gift, such as a box or a rectangular shape. And then I'll show you another way on how to wrap those oddly shaped gifts, like things that don't come in packages or balls or um, other things of that nature. You will need your gift, then your paper, and also some tape, any kind of tape that you would like to use, something with a straight edge, like a bone folder or a gift card, and scissors. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna show you how to wrap a gift that is shaped in a square or a box format. You want to grab your paper first, and um, I like to use wrapping paper that has the grids on the back, that way you have the right measurements of paper and you don't run out. Um, I've also seen people wrap gifts in newspaper or craft paper or anything that, that makes the gift look unique. So what you wanna do is place your gift on the paper and then I like to just line it up with the grid to make sure I will have enough paper. And then what you do next is you wanna take the left corner, bring it up all the way, but just a little bit because that's gonna be hidden once we start wrapping the gift. Next, you want to go to the right side and bring the paper over to ensure that we have enough to cover the entire gift while you're wrapping it. So a little trick I like to do is when I wrap it, I mean, pull the paper over, I just like to pinch the edges and then when I bring it back to cut, see this little indention I made with a pinch and so that way I can make sure I, I cut enough paper. I like to go where the pinch is and just go to the next grid and cut. So we're gonna do that. And it's best to work on a flat surface because that way you ensure that you cut your paper as straight as possible. Next, I'm gonna turn it to the side. So I see at the edge down here, I have three boxes um, from the edge of the GIF. So I'm gonna do that on the exact, on the other side. So um, you're done with your scissors, so you can just put those to the side. Um, now you wanna grab your tape. So I have regular office tape. Um, I personally like to use double-sided tape or gift wrapping tape, um, double-sided tape, it's, like it says, it's one side, both sides are sticky. And for gift wrapping tape, when you put it on the paper, it disappears. So for the purposes of this video, we're gonna use office tape and I'll show you a way you can make it work with any kind of tape that you have at home. So what you want to do is once your package is lined up, you wanna pull the left side and pull it taut. And then you want to put your tape down on the package. So you can put it on any kind of way right here because nobody's gonna see this part. And as I wrap my gift, I kinda just shift the paper and pull it taut again and crease the edges. So next, you wanna pull to the, from the right side and same thing, you wanna pull it taut and you see where the indention that I, you kinda see it right here where I pinch the package. To cut the paper, what you wanna do is you wanna fold as close as to that pinch as you can. Uh, one trick that I like to do at home is use a bone folder to make my edges really crispy. Um, if you don't have a bone folder at home, then you can use anything with a straight edge, um, a gift card, back of a butter knife, anything that you may have readily available. You see it makes a huge difference on the way the paper looks. So you just wanna bring it back around and pull it taut to make sure it is enough to cover that edge. Next, what I do is I take my tape and I just roll it up. And I like to put it on the edge of the box right here. So the edge of the box is here and I'm gonna put the tape there. 
and as I'm doing it, as you notice, I'm just pulling it taut again to make sure the paper is as tight as it can be. So that way when I close the gift off with the other side of the paper, it still looks nice and neat and then there's no gaps. Again, just wanna pull it taut. And as you can see, you have a nice crisp edge here, like it looks in the store, if you were to get a professionally wrap. Next, you want to go to your sides. And what I like to do here is push the paper down. And again, as I'm pushing down on the paper, I'm also smoothing the edges out to make sure everything is nice and tight. And what I like to do right here is when I pull this edge down, just grab a little one piece of tape and you could just stick it right here just to make sure things don't get out of place. Put that over there. So next you wanna take your left side and just fold it in, crease your edges. And then you wanna roll your tape again and put it here, um, put it directly behind that part and pull as you add the tape and you want to repeat the, next, the same step on the next side. So next, once your sides are in here, you wanna take this flap right here and then just kind of fold it down a little bit, not too much, and then you want to bring it up. So you'll have something that looks like this and then what I like to do is to make sure it's secure. I just add, roll up my tape and then add two pieces on each side just to make sure it doesn't fall down. And for the last part, it's a little bit easier because now with this part done, you can sit the package upright Again, fold down in the center, crease up the edges, and then add that tape again so that your paper doesn't move around too much. Take your left side and fold it down. Taking that last flap in the center, folding it down a little bit. So I kind of like to go in the center of where the, the left and the right flap meet. Uh, let's see. So you can always eyeball it and then just refold it if you need to. All right, and just pull one last time. And then what I like to do to finish everything out, I like to grab my bone, bone folder again and then just go across the edges and make sure everything looks nice and neat. Just be careful when you use this bone folder, sometimes if the paper is too thin, it can rip it. So just be sure that if you use a thin paper, it's better to use just your fingers like this and just pinch it out. And that's how you wrap a traditional Box gift. Next, I'm gonna show you how to wrap gifts that are oddly shaped, such as this doll, or something like a ball, or that doesn't come in a square uh, shape. Uh, you will need your gift, then your paper, then also some tape, any kind of tape that you would like to use. Um, something with a straight edge, like a bone folder, or a gift card, and scissors. So let's get started. When you're wrapping a gift um, that's oddly shaped, such as a stuffed animal or a ball or something that doesn't come in a package, um, I can show you a way that you can wrap your gift to make it look like a gift bag. Um, so what you want to do is you want to grab your paper and roll it out. And then you also want to grab your gift and just lay it on the paper. Um, I like to use the paper with the grids on it to make sure I am measuring accurately how much paper I will need. Um, so first, I'm just gonna line this doll up. So what you wanna do next is you wanna take your left side of your paper and just fold it over 
the GIF. What I like to do is just kind of make a crease right here so I know that that's going to be the edge of the left side. And then I like to take the right side next and go over the doll again. Pinch where I need the paper to end and that'll also help me make sure I know where I need to cut. So I'm gonna see my crease right here and I'm just gonna just cut right here at the edge of this grid. With the present in the center now, you wanna make sure you have enough paper at the top. What I like to do is um, I like to fold down the bag a little bit to make it look a little neater. So I'm gonna go up as high as I can, but not too much, you don't need too much paper. So let's just cut right here because the doll, the head um, ends at this grid. And so when I fold it twice, it should look presentable. So, so now you're done with your scissors and your paper. So next, you're gonna move your gift to the side and you want to grab your straight edge tool. I'm using a bone folder right here. Take your left side and just try to go in the center of the paper. So just fold it to the center and then that's when the um, straight edge tool comes into good use because you can crease the edges to make it look a little bit more neater. Next you want to take the other side and do the same thing on the right side. So again, I'm gonna use my straight edge tool. So here you can see where we made the cut of the paper. So what I wanna do is to make it look a little bit more presentable, I'm gonna just fold it to this grid box right here. Smooth it out. Now when it comes to this GIF, um, as if you were wrapping up a traditional GIF and wanted to hide the tape, you could do that. But um, for this GIF, it's not necessary because this will be the back of the package. So if you're not worried about anybody seeing that, then you could just go ahead and just tape it. And if you are concerned about the way it looks, then you could use something like gift wrapping tape, which pretty much makes it invisible once you put it on the paper, or you could double side the tape, use double sided tape, or you could roll your tape up. You're gonna take the edge of your paper and fold it up. And then you wanna crease the bottom Next, you want to take this part that's folded and separate it to make two triangle, two triangle shapes at the bottom. So as you're doing this, just be as neat as you can be. So you just want to press these out until you get two diamond shapes or, half, or two triangle shapes. Again, bone fold or straight edge tool to crease out the sides. So next. Next, you want to take the top triangle and fold it over. Again. Crease it. And since nobody, this is the bottom of the package, so since no one's gonna see it, you can just add the tape anywhere. So I'm gonna add a piece of tape right here to keep it secure and down and then I'm just gonna add two pieces on the side to make sure nothing moves. So next you wanna take the bottom triangle and fold that up. Again, press it down and crease the edges. Grab more tape. I'm doing the same thing again. So just folding at the top of that triangle and then also on the sides to make sure everything stays in the place. Just make sure when you're doing this project um, to use the right type of paper 
Um, if your package is really heavy, then you want to use more quality, um, heavier wrapping paper. But if it's something that's really light, then you can get away with um, thinner paper or something like craft paper or newspaper. So next, what you want to do is just put your hand down in the bottom and just poke all your edges out. Then take your gift and just drop it on down in the, in the package. Lastly, what I like to do is just fold once and then fold again. We folded this one three times and you just want to take your tape. and tape down the flaps. And now you're done. You have a nice gift bag for your oddly shaped gift. Um, you can always buy a gift bag, but this is cheaper. You can make one out of everything you already have at home. You can always decorate your gift also for what you have at home as well. For this gift, I use polymer clay um, leaves that I made at home. And I wrapped the package with craft paper and use twine instead of ribbon. So those are some things that you can do to decorate your gifts to make them a little bit more special for the people that you are giving them to. I had a great time wrapping gifts with you today. I hope you enjoyed doing this at home. For more of our classes and information, check out our website at www.rustincommunitycenter.com.